Okay, this one's Rendering 5 from Cat Like Coding, and um, this is uh, one of the ones I actually had a lot of fun with. Let me make sure I'm looking at the right tutorial here. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Sorry, duh. Just wanted to make sure. Um, so anyways, uh, this one was uh, basically an experiment with um, multiple lights is what they say. And it's actually one of the neater ones, um, how I ended up uh, getting it to uh, work and everything that I did with it. So I'll take you directly to this. So I created a scene here, and it's just a simple scene um, that takes the, the stock objects that uh, I had used from the previous tutorials and more or less I would take a um, point light source, that's that floating globe I decided to animate and do uh, the back and forth to demonstrate the uh, the texture and it's using something called a cookie and a cookie is, if you can look down I animated it a little bit to, to basically rotate it um, it, uh, it's more or less a mask for the light which is really cool I thought that worked out pretty slick so you can do things like um, you have waves on the floor or you even have a psychedelic light on the ceiling or something like that so I don't know I had a lot of fun with that and also getting it to change color that was one of my own personal challenges to myself was uh, basically changing it to you know seeing the color change from uh, the white to the kind of like off yellow and everything so anyways um, that's that part and then taking the same concept and applying it to um, spotlight sources now directional lights I have them all turned off so it's you know kind of the same premise and everything for the lighting um, but I was more interested in the spotlights and the uh, point lights because I really haven't worked with them that much and played with them much in Unity so as you can see I've created series of my little contraption here that uh we got a light light up there um i've just i've got two cylinders that are wrapped around a a spotlight light source and that actually projects down onto a couple spheres that i did for the rgb stuff just to demonstrate the coloring and everything but uh again a cookie is applied that's how it gets that that cool little effect and everything I was extremely pleased with, with all this and the lighting and learned a lot during this little tutorial. So the animation is kind of fun too and uh, I just wanted to make it look like <laughs> I had these little cylinders that were floating up there and I just decided to create a little structure for it. But as you can see, I had a lot of fun with the, uh, the lighting on this and thought I'd share and also check out the overlap here too. You can see it glowing on the ball. It's the first time I've really played intensely with uh, light sources, and this is all on HDR, mind you. So that's actually the the more interesting thing about this. It's all done through shaders and and uh, and materials that are applied to these respective objects and everything. So, anyways, thought I would share. I thought it came out pretty darn cool. So, anyways, that's about it.